So welcome to the explanation of the super frontal levitation. This is a great levitation that you can perform outdoors and you will amaze all your friends and family members. So you need from your levitation kit this special clip. This metal clip, this device will be your levitation kit. Okay, so you have to be very, very careful in um, to not lose this item. This is very important. Second thing you are going to need is a cloth or a blanket like this one. Okay, the size will, they will vary, but this is important that the, the blanket or the cloth have to cover your legs completely. Okay, so this cloth is going to be placed on top of the shoes and it has to cover your legs completely, okay? So that's one of the things. The other thing is your clip that I'm going to place it right now. And the other very important thing in your shoes, your tennis shoes or formal wear shoes, it doesn't matter. It is very important that one of them, you untie the shoelaces so it's very easy to take one feet off and place it back. Take it off and place it back. That's very important. So now let's see how to connect your shoes. Okay, now that you have connected your shoes, remember to open the thong of your tennis shoes so your feet will slide easily inside this way. Good. Now, I cover this up with my uh, pants and I secure the gimmick. I'm ready to perform the show, the trick now, the illusion. So I show you this. I can do it in front of a camera of a, of a live audience. Then I grab the cloth, extend it to show that there's nothing in the cloth. I can put it over here, right, and raise it. Nothing happens. The second time I go down, I'm going to take my feet out of the shoe and place it over here, okay? While at the same time, of course, I show, I come and I do this. But this is my actual position right now. My left, my sorry, my right foot is here, okay? Now, as you see, since the gimmick is connecting both shoes, now both shoes will move this way and it will generate and create the illusion that you are floating, okay? So now you grab this over here, you show, place it here. Remember, here is not a good position because your, feet, your foot can be seen behind, okay? The claws have to be very close to the shoes, covering the full length of your legs. Now, if I just do this move, I'm floating. That easy and simple. So now watch here, one, two, and three. Then I move, do this move, and of course my body will also rise. It's very important, okay? This, it doesn't look like I'm flying, but maybe this looks like I'm flying. Look, one, two, three. I go down a little bit with all my body, and then I help, and then I float, okay? So the illusion is generated, right? Now I have to, I can go this way, but my body have to follow my legs. So if the legs go this way or this way, my body is following it. Good. And I come over here and then I, I do this one time, second time, then go to the center, right? And then go down. As soon as I go down, now it's time for my right foot to get inside of the shoe, okay? So now I stop here, I step into my shoe, not perfectly, not perfectly, because as you can see, part of my, my foot is outside of the shoe in this way, but that's no matter, right? I come over here, I do this, and voila. Now, to unclip the gimmick, my left hand, sorry, my left leg, sorry, has to go up. And if I do it, I'm unplugging the gimmick, and I can just walk completely normal now. Okay? So that is the explanation for the super frontal levitation. I hope you like it.